pretty with me while I try to use all of the products I received in my mystery boxes on my face. So these are the three mystery boxes. It's the Essence Just For You, the Catrice Mystery Box, as well as the Essence and Catrice Glow Box. So first of all, my hair looks absolutely crazy. It's so greasy, it's not even funny, but it's because I put an oil treatment on my hair. I've washed it and everything, it's just, yeah quite oily but first and foremost I'm going in I already just moisturized my skin I'm then going in with this Rimmel London SPF fix and protect primer all I have on my nails is actually the essence nail varnish that I received in one of the boxes and I really love it it is like a autumn fall color but it's still super stunning then after priming i'm going in with my wet and wild photo focus foundation and um, so this and the rimmel obviously i didn't get in the mystery boxes but i do need to use different products to get a full face blending this out with a foundation brush and then i'll just tap it in with the beauty blender i'm gonna do two comparisons of the essence sun sand and golden rainbows bronzing drops one over foundation and one under foundation in this get ready with me i'm doing it on top of my foundation just to see what it does the essence bronzing drops have blended absolutely beautifully and i am obsessed with this glow so next up i'm going in with this essence color correcting liquid concealer so i also received in the boxes now that that's brightened up my under eyes and everything else, I'm going in with the Essence 2-in-1 Highlight and Contour Stick. Basically just finish off my base with my Wet n Wild Foundation and Concealer. And then I will just set my entire face with this Makeup Revolution Translucent Powder. So I did go ahead and add a little bit of Translucent Powder, but not too much because I don't want to ruin this glow. I just love it. I just went to take a look in the mirror now because the mirror is like way back, super stunning. So now I'll just go in with this Essence Eyebrow Gel color and shape on my brows. Now that my eyebrows are complete, really loving them by the way, I'm going to go in with this Catrice Art Colors, Colors Eyeshadow in the shade Matastic Beige in 20. I did swatch this when I unboxed the products. I mean, I did unbox the um, boxes, but it wasn't very pigmented when I swatched it. So for actual eyeshadow, I'm just going to be super extra today and, and go in with the Essence Blush Lighter. Because why not? I'm trying to like complete this look using actually only products I received in these mystery boxes. So I don't really want to go now and use a different eyeshadow palette. Because that's just a bit boring. So I'm just tapping into it. And lightly... Blending that all over my eye, not taking it too high. And then I'll just go in with the highlighter bit, the lighter shade, and just tap that more towards the inner corner. And I mean, why not? That's just perfect for a little bit of eyeshadow that's not too overpowering love multi-use makeup and makeup has no rules so next i will attempt a wing liner i suck at wing liner so let's see with the catrice clean id eyeliner so that basically did not go as planned as i thought so i had to make a few slight adjustments and now we are here i have like a slight little line on my eyes but there's nothing i can do about that i'm still using the last bit of my get big lashes from essence because i actually thought i was getting mascara in these mystery boxes for some other reason so i'm still on the hunt for a different mascara basically bring this look together i'm contemplating which one to use here my natural instincts are telling me to go with the catrice clean id hydro lip plumper to just match this glowy look so excited to see the results of this did basically go in with the catrice hydro lip plumper clean id and i think i'm actually obsessed with this stuff 
just look maybe i'm tripping but i love it i haven't obviously used all of the nail varnishes i've used the one and the stickers and whatnot but there's a time and place for everything but for now this is the look and i'm totally obsessed with all of these products like i have just found joy in each and every single one of them except for the wing liner due to lack of practice from my side of course but thumbs up for everything